welcome. Today we're going to be talking about data encryption. So there are two types of ways to encrypt data, which are symmetric key encryption and asymmetric key encryption. Today we're going to be just discussing symmetric key encryption because it tends to be used more because it is about a thousand times faster than asymmetric key encryption. So there are, so what exactly is symmetric key encryption? Well, it's a form of cryptography that computerized devices use to um, conceal a message. So basically you have a plain text message that you want to send, and then you have a key, and you use the key in matrices to encrypt that message. So whenever you send it to receiver, they also have the same key you used, and they use that to decode the message you sent. Therefore, nobody can really steal your message. So what type is best for you? Well, there are four types of symmetric key encryption, which include data encryption standard, advanced encryption standard, escrowed encryption standard, and Blowfish. So DES and Blowfish tend to be used more often, but basically the top three are mainly used for government and public interfaces. So really which one you want to use just depends on what you're exactly trying to do. Now how does this relate to linear algebra? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, this relates to it because you have to use a mathematical algorithm in order to encrypt and decrypt messages. And as we learned in class, we actually had a plain text message and a key, and we tried to change the plain text message into a encoded message that was of the same size. So how exactly is this helpful in the real world? Well, there are many applications of symmetric key encryption in the real world, which kind of go with, you know, sending emails, making sure websites are secured, and personal information does not get out. And all of these stem from the same idea of just having the plain text message in a key and using that to encrypt, and then sending it to a receiver who then has the exact same key and can use that to decrypt. And that's your helpful information. Oh, oh I have a message to get encrypted. Oh, really? Well, why don't we go over and see my friend Mason who can help us out. Hey Mason, I gotta encrypt this message. Well, I can help you with that. So my program is a simplified version of the process of symmetric encryption. Yes. And it takes a message to encode, uses a key to encode it, finds the determinant and inverse so it can be decoded later. What message do you want to encrypt? Okay, so I'm trying to message this girl, and the message would be, yo, what up? Alright. So we tell the program what to encrypt. We find the determinant, which is 55 of the major C. We encode the message. The decoded message shows that it is, yo, what up? And she already liked to, she already uh, messaged you back. Would you want to decode it? Oh, uh, yeah.